Axe and Scaffold is dead to me in Idle and Hunt. The self damage turned to Stago mechanic is just too annoying to use. Why the hell even bother do Idle and Hunt's squad leader? Scarlet Spear just made this mission obsolete. Honestly lads, it's not about the arcanes, it's about the mission being interesting and fun to play. I do Idle and Hunts right now not to farm stuff, but it's the most engaging mission in the game right now. The only mission that gives you actual boss fight mechanics, and would somehow force you to use some brain matters to break the meta. Long story short, I play it because I love it. Now let's get back to the amp composition. So like I've said, Shraxan, the meta for several years are now completely annoying for idle and hunts because of the self stagger mechanic. The damage is still the, but its efficiency is now trash in my opinion. The best thing to do is to use another and for the idle and hunt and, this is the purpose of this video, giving you what I consider the king of all amps for this year when it comes to idle and hunting. There are two variations of this amp. One is basically for those who don't like self stagger, and one is for those who would prefer using it on the profit taker fight, or just simply want an easier way to proc virtuous shadow. The prism for both variations are the only one being different, but both scaffold and brace I'm using are the same. For the scaffold, I suggest that you get rid of Shraxan, and try out proper scaffold. Both scaffold may have a stagger mechanic but proper can be mitigated by simply entering void mode while in operator form. The best part is, this scaffold will let you nuke enemies, and I even dubbed it like an atom bomb, since it looks like a single molecular structure that can destroy everything within its reach. The downside is, the atom has a very slow travel speed, and it will took some time to detonate. The best thing you can do is time when to use your nuclear atom. Right now, Proper is the meta scaffold and pairs well with the Certus Brace, which is the highest critical chance given for either primary and secondary fire of your amp. In fact, Proper and Certus are the best scaffold and brace respectively for the idle and hunt. If you are doing idle and hunts, you can actually one-shot the shield of the idol and if you have 4 times void strike charge from your Majurai focus, while using this amp combination, it gets even better if you shot it through Volt's shield. Or, you can choose to go with the Unaru focus, and unlock the Unaru Wisp skill, which grants increased damage to your amp. The result will be almost the same as the void strike trick. All you need to do is make sure that your atom bomb will hit the idol and, however, not all are pros in idle and hunting and most probably, not all want to be in a meta squad. Which is why I decided to add a setup for those chill hunters. My advice is, try to add the right prism on your amp. There are two options, and both yield the most critical chance. By the way, critical chance is the main ingredient for taking the idle and shield with ease. That is why if you are choosing an amp, try to go with lots of critical chance. With this in mind, you can either go with the Raplik prism or, the Clamera prism. The Raplik Prism is like a sniper rifle shot, which fires a long-range projectile. It's pretty accurate also, and you can use this to prop Virtuous Shadow easily. Just by shooting the head of Eidolon with your Raplik Prism, you can further boost the 50 plus percent critical chance of your amp. But that's not the only use of the Raplik Prism, you can also use this in the Profit Taker fight. In a safe distance, you can alter the elemental resistance of the Orb Mother with your Raplik Prism. Long story short, this prism is very efficient when it comes to fighting giants in the game. The other option is to choose the Clamora Prism for your amp. Unlike the Raplik Prism, Clamora is a short in range, but he has a very good DPS. I call this the Meltdown Prism since it can melt the Idol and Shield in seconds. It's a good amp combination for chill hunting, but not wise for those who are into 5 Idol and Hunts per night gamers probably. Meta team composition can able to one shot the shields with the proper scaffold. Well anyway, it's not a problem since you can have both of the two worlds. You can either choose to use the primary fire, or the secondary fire of this amp, which is comprised of Clamora, Proper, and Certus. Another advantage of using the primary fire of this Clamora amp is that, you are not tied with the usual Medurai Void Strike trick. It's the most effective in one shotting idle and shields but sometimes, I prefer the Unru Wisp because I usually test different frames for idle and hunts. I don't want to create one meta, but tend to break the meta and create more options for you to have fun on this mission. But that's not all the reason why I love the Clamora Prism. I love this amp, which I called Bala's Got No Balls because it perfectly pairs with my favorite solo idle and hunter Oberon. I know Volt is meta, even in solo idle and hunt but it's just sat easying to use the goat in idle and hunts. He is so versatile that he can take care of the idle and lures, 
negate the magnetic damage, and pump up the radiation damage of your weapon which in fact will only require you a riven less setup to take down the Eidolons with ease. Now I would suggest you try Redeemer Prime for Eidolon hunts, since it can melt the limbs in seconds but, let's reserve that for another video. For this video, let's focus our attention on Rubigo Prime. This sniper got a new PvE augment called Ambush Optics and what it does is give out a 50% negative to the zoom of this weapon. Is the negative zoom worth it though? Yes. It is. Since it's an Exilus mod slot, there's reason why not to put this on your Rubigo Prime build. The negative zoom is a quality of life change overall, because it lets you use the 25 times zoom of Rubico with ease, which gives out a 50% critical damage bonus. Aside from weapon, if you want to try out this Oberon setup for idle and hunts, I would suggest using the Adaza Kavat not just for the critical chance buff, but also for its fetch ability. This mod will be very helpful especially when you are using the Unru Focus. The wisps spawn in weird places that sometimes, you need to look for them to proc the damage buff on your ramp. That can simply be fixed by transferring to your Warframe after you spawn a wisp. It's a good thing to use a Kavat for an idle and Hunter Oberon setup, since this frame gives out some bonus buff to your pet. Not to mention that the increase in health would effectively heal your pet in battle, if your Oberon cast the renewal buff. One last thing that we need to discuss before we end this video is about Chroma. Honestly, I have no complaints with Chroma in normal circumstances. The self damage removal can't be felt in normal missions, since there are hordes of enemies that will proc the Vex armor buff but, in idle and hunts, it's a big nerf for this dragon. I don't see using Chroma in both solo and team hunts anymore. In solo scenario, you would need to stare on the Eidolon for a while and pray that he will stomp you to death and proc the fury buff of your Vex armor. While in team composition, you will look stupid waiting for the Eidolon to hit you, since most of the meta players can one-shot the limbs without your help anymore. So, what I'm proposing is to make Vex armor and instant activation ability. Once you cast Vex armor, you will gain the full fury and scorn buff of the ability. It's not game breaking but it will make Vex armor a reliable ability for Chroma because honestly, what does Chroma has to offer to players than Vex armor and Elemental Ward? I'm hoping that somehow, Digital Extremes, will make this ability more reliable and for them to do this, I'm encouraging you to sign the petition to make these changes. Simply click the change.org link on the comment box below and sign the petition. The more people who sign, the better chances we have of Digital Extremes changing the Vex armor ability. I hope you help me out on this petition and, I hope that you find this video informative. More Warframe videos will come soon and also, I'm cooking a new Monster Hunter World video. It's all about the unrated sword and shield. So, if you want to view more of my content, then don't forget to subscribe and be part of the squad. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. is the future. Human error. Evolution. This is the future. Evolution.